I welcome you to this moment around God's Word and prayer again today. We're in Jeremiah chapter 17 as we walk through this uh, amazing prophet's life. And right now we're in the middle of his preaching ministry, the kinds of things that he's saying to the people of Jerusalem and the surrounding area of Judah, um, warning them to turn back to the Lord before judgment comes. But although you can become overwhelmed with the message of judgment, Actually, Jeremiah's message was not all dark. Jeremiah's message was just many times infused with great, with great hope. And for instance, verse 12 of, of Jeremiah chapter 17, he says, A glorious throne, exalted from the beginning, is the place of our sanctuary. Listen, we can have a dwelling place, a, a sanctuary for God, that, that is centered in Jesus' glorious rule, in God's glorious throne. So glorious throne, exalted from the beginning is the place of our sanctuary. This is, this is Jeremiah preaching hope. Yes, he needed to preach judgment, but with God it's never judgment without hope. And he said, there's a glorious place for you and for me. The next verse, verse 13, Lord, and you're the hope of Israel. And all who forsake you will be put to shame. Yes, that's going to be true. That's his judgment. But those who turn away from you will be written in the dust because they have forsaken the Lord, the spring of living water. That only makes sense. You, you abandon the fresh springs and you're, you're, you're going to die of thirst. You abandon the Lord and, and your life's going to shrivel up. But, but here's the hope, and it's a powerful prayer. Heal me, Lord, and I will be healed. Save me, and I will be saved. For you are the one I praise. Lord, I can be healed. This is the hope. Heal me because I will be healed. And save me because I can be saved and I will be saved through you. For you are the one I praise. So this is how Jeremiah, although the message of judgment is dark, you, you know, uh, when we forsake the living water, we're going to dry up. But Jesus, the spring of living water, the Holy Spirit in our lives, the life that comes with him, this is the hope. And I'm going to, be, I'm going to pray today that amazing verse, heal me, Lord, and I will heal, be healed. Save me and I will be saved, for you are the one I praise. In fact, that would be an amazing verse. I, I've actually personally bookmarked that verse in my Bible app on my phone. Maybe you want to write it on a note card and tape it to your bathroom mirror so you see it every morning and every night. Oh, God, heal me and I will be healed. Save me and I will be saved. For you're the one I prize. You're the one I look to. You're the one I'm trusting and honoring in my life. It reminds me of 1 Peter 2 in verse 24 where God said, where, where Paul wrote, Peter wrote, Jesus himself bore our sins in his body on the cross so that we might die to sins and live for righteousness and by his wounds you have been healed. And so we pray together, Lord, heal us. We'll be healed. Save us, Lord, we'll be saved. Lord, I pray that for every one of us. My God, by faith right now, I just pray healing power to everyone who calls on you today. Jesus, uh, we can't be together in a room today but, Lord, wherever people are, you are there. And I just pray in Jesus' name as we call out, heal me, that they, they will be healed in Jesus' name. Thank you right now for the release of your healing power into cancer, into back problems, into headaches, Lord Jesus, into kidney problems, into lung problems, into people who are infected with COVID right now. Let them be healed in the name of Jesus. And for those of us, Lord, who just feel like we're lost and we're guilty, save us and we will be saved because of Jesus who died in our place to deliver us from sin and by whom we can be healed through his wounds. Thank you, Jesus. Let salvation come in, let heal, healing come through your mighty triumphant name. For you are the mighty God. And we thank you that with you, there's always hope, hallelujah, and always your intervention into our lives. So we receive it. You are our praise, and we praise you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen.